I'm John Bowden, and it's our second interview. It's a brand new series with Alan Parsons from the Alan Parsons Project. And of course, for the last few years, it's just been the Alan Parsons Touring Project. He's just released a brand new album. We'll tell you about that. And there's a new remastered box set. And we'll give you the links on how you can pick that up. It's very exciting. We first heard about the project with Tales of Mystery and Imagination. A tip of the hat to Edgar Allan Poe. It was the first of many concept albums. We talked to Alan Parsons about that. When you did the first album, and I'm guessing here because I've not read this. When you did the Tales of Mystery and Imagination, did were you just going, oh, let's do a concept on this first one? There wasn't, was there a plan of going, we're going to do this all the way across? I, I, th I think concept albums were fashionable back in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, so we, we fitted into a, a, an area of progressive rock, which included concept albums. I, mean, I felt good about it. Uh, I think in later years, it became, you know, oh, no, not another concept album, you know. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I always felt good about um, having a, a theme to write songs about, you know. Um, it, it actually makes, it makes the job easier. Congratulations, by the way, on the uh, the box set. There's something about when someone either remasters something or else you've got this box set. It's an amalgamation of a blood, sweat, and tears, a younger self. How did it feel like having putting this together? Um, it felt great. Um, it was uh, it was a labor of love. I'll tell you to to try and locate all the tapes. I mean, you know, forty years worth of tapes. Uh, they they tend to go walk about, and uh, we we went to a lot of trouble to make sure that. Uh, we we found, you know, the best sounding tapes, the most original tapes, so on and so on. I I'm rather proud of the fact that um, I don't seem to have a date stamp on any of my albums. It's always been, uh, you know, it, 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 stylistically. I mean, I haven't I haven't developed with the times at all. I've just just, <laughs> just stuck in a stuck in the late seventies, early eighties sort of style style wise. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm okay with that. I I, I don't feel that uh, I'm um, you know, swindling anybody by, by just sticking to my original style. People, uh, you know, people, particularly people who are growing older with me, you know, they, 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 they continue to like that style, I think. We'll have more from Alan Parsons coming up in the next two, three days. This series will also feature older clips from our first interview with Alan about a year ago and clips from not the most used singer for Alan Parsons. That was Eric Wolfson, Alan Parsons' partner, but Lenny Zakatek, who sang a lot of their popular songs. We talked to him a couple of years ago and we thought we'd fit some of those clips into this series. He's an amazing singer. That's coming up in the next few days. Make sure you support our channel. You can use the two Ps. One is Patreon. You get early access to our videos. Or if you just want to make a donation, there's a PayPal link in the description. Also in the description, links on how you can pick up the new Alan Parsons album or how you can pick up the Alan Parsons Project box set of all their studio LPs. It's all in the links. Make sure you share our videos on social media. We'd appreciate that. It makes a huge difference. And remember, we read all the comments, like our video, and subscribe to our channel. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.